Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to be continuing our tour of the back end of Magento Community. So, in the last lesson, we went over sales and catalog, and I showed you a little bit about this dashboard. So, now we're going to move on to mobile. So, what this mobile thing is, is it allows you to create a native mobile app per a different device uh, with your store on it where people can actually order your products, or you can just have it a catalog based app where they can just look at your products. Um, so you can see you can make it for the iPad, iPhone, or Android. Um, it's really cool. We're going to have a whole bunch of tutorials just teaching you how to do all that. So just know that this mobile section is for making mobile, uh, mobile apps out of your store in Magento. Really cool. So next we have customers, where you can manage your customers. Um, as you'll see, there should just be two of us. This is the one John Doe that they have built in here with our sample data. And uh, myself here, is which I created myself. And you can actually go through and edit those uh, customers' information just like they could. Um, you can go in and edit their address. So if a client or a customer comes and says, oh, I, I need you to update my address for some reason, they can't do it. You don't have to say that you know you don't have access to that. You have perfect access to any of that. Um, it's really cool. You know, you can manage all that stuff. And just like before, it's this interface where you can sort, um, you can apply, you can export them to a CSV. That way, if you're moving to another Magento install, or let's say you're moving to Magento Go, uh, you can export all your customers and you can export all your products and import them into Magento Go. Uh, well, Magento Go is real quick. It is just a paid version of Magento where they host the site for you. Uh, you don't have access to any of the code. You can do custom CSS and JavaScript, or you can just download themes and install them. They still have extensions. The back end is pretty similar. Uh, it's really robust, has all the features, and it's at a good price. So if you don't want to manage the code yourself, check out Magento Go. I'll be doing another tutorial series on just on Magento Go, showing you that in a little bit. Um, but uh, community comes first. so. Uh, customer groups, you can create customer groups. Right now there's general, not logged in, retailer, uh, wholesale. That way certain customers can be tagged with certain uh, groups and then they will see maybe custom prices for, uh, let's say if a customer is a wholesale price, they're going to always want to get that wholesale price. So online customers is going to show you who's online right now. Uh, nobody is on our site right now online. Um, Usually this list can be, you know, whoever is currently viewing your page and is logged in. So promotions, you can have, uh, let's say, catalog price rules, 20% off. You can do coupons and stuff. Uh, shopping cart price rules, um, same thing. Okay, under newsletter, this is where you can manage your newsletter. Let's say if you want to have templates, you're going to create a new template here, and this is what is going to get sent out uh, every time you want to send out a newsletter. And this is when people sign up to your newsletter. If you remember on your site, uh, by default, there's this sign up for newsletter box. Uh, let's see, I think it might be on only some of the pages. Yeah, sign up for a newsletter, or when you create an account, it by default gives them the option to be able to sign up. So in this newsletter, you can see your subscribers, uh, you can report uh, problems, whatever, or people can report problems and you can see them. Um, okay, next is CMS. This is where you're going to be able to manage the content of your site in a, uh, like a way with like a WYSIWYG and stuff like that. So if we go to pages, this is going to show you all of your pages. Um, here's your homepage, your customer service, your about us, your 404 page, your privacy policy. If we click on one of these about us, you can see it uh, lets us choose like uh, the content. Here's your WYSIWYG, uh, the design. You can say it's going to be three column, one column, whatever, the metadata. So this is really where you're editing your page content. Your static blocks, your static blocks are, are um, little blocks that are going to be on your page. So this footer links, let's click on this one. And as you can see, it's about us, uh, customer service, privacy policy. If you go down here on the bottom of your page, uh, here are those links. If we want to just say, let's say test and save, save block. Well, let's refresh this page. We should see test down here. Here it is. So uh, these are our static blocks. We also have widgets. Um, if you remember before, um, we went over sort of what their type of widgets are. You can create a static block. Uh, recently compared products, orders and returns. There's also lots of stuff that you can do in here. We'll go over that again later. 
Uh, polls is its own category. I might have said it was a widget before, but it's actually its own thing. You can create as many polls as you want, and then you can add them to your site. Uh, as you can see, this what is your favorite Magento feature it has apparently 4,000 responses. You can get your answers here, see what the vote count is, delete things, edit it. Okay, our reports. This is going to be, uh, you can see your sales reports. Uh, you can, uh, let's see. Let's see, if we want to say, you know, period from whatever, May 1st to today, and uh, uh, let's see, we just click show report. It's not going to find anything because we don't have any sales. But either way, you can click show report. It's going to generate a report. You can click export. It can export as an Excel file or a CSV. Uh, there's reports on all sorts of stuff. So products and carts. Actually, uh, here is the product that we had in our cart in the previous two, uh, let's see, two videos ago. Uh, you can export this. This this way you can keep track of this data in your own way if you want. You know, if you have ex Excel spreadsheets that you want to track all your data yourself, you can do it that way. Again, these are just reports for any of this stuff. Uh, it's nice and easy to get to. So here is System, and System is a beast in itself. So we're going to take a whole tutorial video to just go over System. Uh, there's all sorts of things in here, My Account Notification Tools, whatever. Uh, so in the next lesson, I'm going to show you all the stuff in this system menu. And uh, this is where a lot of your site lives in terms of configuration and setting things up. There's also some other useful things in there too, such as being able to import and export. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment on the video. Hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching. Bye.